this is Tracy from Get Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be doing a napkin card. I got these napkins from Dollar Tree, and they were on sale for 50 cents. So how adorable is that with the, uh, the teacups piled up on each other? And I love these because I am a tea drinker. And I just love the way the colors are. They're really soft and then they have that really dark border right around it to make it stand out. And then they got that little dark border around the bottom. So I think this is gonna look really nice. So let's get started. Okay, so I have a, I chose a white card base and you could basically choose whatever card base you want. Um, and so this is cut down to, uh, it's five by five folded. And then this is where I'm going to put my napkin on this particular piece of cardstock. And I cut it just shy of um, the five inch mark. Just a little bit so that when I put it on here, it'll have a little bit of a border, but you'll see later. So what I'm going to do is let's unfold this napkin so we can see what it looks like. And see how pretty that is? So with one napkin, you can probably get about four cards out of this. Yeah, probably about four cards. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of cut this down a little bit and I want, I'm going to cut a little bit more uh, larger than actually this card base. So it's going to be a little bit larger than that and that way I can always go back and cut it off but I want to make sure I get the image that I want right in between that space. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball this and just cut around it for right now. And you can do a little bit differently if you want to go ahead and trace and um, and just be more precise, but I'm just going to eyeball it. And this is a perfect evening for creating a card because it is raining outside. It's been raining off and on in Georgia. And so you might hear the rain. Uh, so I'm making I'm making some tea cards, okay? I think these would look nice in gift tags too. If I was to make gift tags, I would probably just cut right along this area here to fit my tag in there. So that that might be a future idea for a card. Okay. So I'm making my card, you know, as large as I want to. I'm not following following any particular rules. I just thought this would be a nice size. And I really hear that rain coming down out there. Okay, so this is what I have so far. And so this is going to be perfect because it's just fitting right outside of my card or my card base. And so for this napkin, you want to take off this backing part because it's two ply. And I'm putting it on the white base because I want my napkin to really stand out, the colors to really stand out. And then it actually helps when you're smoothing the napkin out against the card base. Okay, so let's put this down like this. And let's go ahead and add our glue for right now. So I'm just using the Craft Bond Extra Strength glue. And you're gonna hear my dog under my feet because um, with the rain and the thunder, he's been just kind of antsy all day. So what you're gonna do is you wanna make sure that you cover this uh, really good with your um, glue stick. And there are several, several techniques for putting the uh, napkins on the card, but this one just seems to be the easiest and you can do a ton of these. So you wanna make sure that you really have good coverage on this. You want to get the entire thing all around the sides here. And it's pretty sticky. We get everything nice and you see my hands are kind of gooey there. So I kind of like to look at this just from the side so I can see that I covered everything because it It'll have a shine to it. So that's when you know it's all covered. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take my napkin and turn it 
over. I'm just flipping it over because you want your napkin, um, your artwork to be on this side. So you want to make sure you turn this over. And the part with the glue on it, you want to apply it on here. So now you want to just make sure, I just want to make sure I'm doing this straight. I want to get as much of that bottom part as possible onto my base here. Get as much of the artwork on there as possible. Okay, I'm just laying it right on my card there. And so now I'm just going to smooth this out really good. Just smoothing that out. See how that is? Oh my goodness, I love this. Look how pretty that is. And it's really, I mean, it's really smooth. I mean, if you want to keep doing it, you can, but it's on there. So you just want to really rub that so it adheres. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do some gift tags uh, using some of these, um, these napkins. You can make a matching set. Okay, so now I'm going to, let me turn it over this way because I can see better. I'm going to cut, cut away the edges. And if you haven't seen the um, lemon napkin that I did, um, I did, I turned the lemon napkins into uh, cards. Oh, let me get a smaller scissor here because that one doesn't seem to be. Uh, I will go ahead and post that below. And I'm just... You want to just take your time with this part so you get a nice clean edge. I think I was moving too fast. See what that looks like. Yep, it's on there. Yeah, I'm just cutting right up to the edge there. And if you want to know where these adorable scissors came from, um, these are Cutter B scissors, and they come with a little case. Look how cute that is. And these are in May May store. I will go ahead and put that below for you, the link to that. But these scissors are perfect, and they feel so good on my hands. I mean, sometimes uh, it's got like this rubber thing in there that just kind of protects the hands, so it makes cutting easier. And I like to cut things out, so... But it's really good for uh, fussy cutting, but it's these are super sharp, too. Okay. This is a nice handy tool to have in your uh, stash for crafting. And hopefully... Um, You'll be able to find some of these napkins in Dollar Tree. Uh, but I did find some at Tuesday morning, so. Just cut this off just a little bit. I can really see the edges there now. Okay, and look how cute that is. So now you have your, your card, your napkin is now a card. So once I'm done with that, I think I want to maybe shade in the edges. And I'm just making this up as I go. I'm just having fun here. And that's what it's all about. Making up your own rules. And uh, the reason why I'm putting this brown on here, this is the Distress uh, Vintage Photo. I just have a cut up sponge. I don't have any fancy tool. Um, I'm just going to shade this in just around the sides, just to give it that little bit of a, um, that kind of rustic kind of look right around the edges. And it can be as dark as you want it to be. And the reason why I'm going along here, because I figured it would look really um, cute because it has that brown around the bottom. And I'm gonna add something to that brown, to add some sparkle in there. I just randomly just got stuff out and started, just started doing some stuff. You ever have one of those days? Let 
Okay, so that's what I've got so far. Just around the edges, just a little bit to shade it in. Okay, so now I'm going to apply it to here. And you see I have just a little bit of a white border, not much, but just a little bit. You see a little bit of frayed edges from the napkin just right there. Cut that off. And that's going to be perfect. Okay, so let me go ahead and... Another good tool to have is the crafter's tape. I always have some of this in my stash. Let me get as close to those edges as possible. So imagine, these cards are so easy to make. You can make a ton of these. And that's what we've got so far. So now we're going to start adding some things to this. Okay, let's see if I remember what I was going to add to it. Because you know how you have that idea? in mind and then you kind of like, uh, what was that I was thinking? I'm going to use the, um, the Cup of Cup of Stamp from maymay.com and if I wanted to send this to someone, it's, here's, this is cute I think, um, I'll take mine with friends and I'll put maybe the sentiment right here. Uh, what's brewing in your world? Uh, I think I'm going to use that one. I, I kind of like that because it really doesn't have to be a special occasion for you to send someone a card. I think they would appreciate it um, no matter what. I'm using this bigger block. My other block is somewhere around here, but I'm going to use this big one. And I could either stamp it right on here. See, there's a little space right there, so I could put it right there. Yeah, I might as well go ahead and stamp it directly on there. And I'm going to do it in black so it really stands out. So I've got my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And you see, just adding just a little bit of a sentiment there. And I just just did it directly right on the um on the card there. And then I thought this would be cute with just maybe some pearls right in there, possibly. I do. Oh, there's the thunder kicking in again. Maybe put a few of these on here too. Use my art glitter glue. And this looks so cute. Hmm. I see some sparkly stuff needing to be added on here. Not too much though. So like you see right here, there's a little white space there. I'm gonna add a pearl there. I think that'll work. And so the nice thing is you can just decorate this however you want. Um, I've got this little this flower over here. And let's see. I'm just gonna move it in just a little bit there so you can see. Okay, and I'm going to add maybe one of these really light colored gems. Maybe right there too. I'm just balancing out the color a little bit. Oops. And these already have stickers on them, but to get a really good stick, I'd rather use the um, art glitter glue along with it. Oops. And that kind of enhances the blue in there. Then you just add a little bit of sparkle to it.
And I feel like I want to add something in here, right along here. And so what I have is the Nouveau Crystal Drops. And I've just recently been using these. And these came from um, May May Made It store. And I thought this is just so pretty. And I'm just going to enhance this little bit of brown here. It's kind of a beige brown color. This one, let's see what this is called. This is actually called, uh, looks like it says Golden, Golden Comet. I believe that's it, but I will list it below. Because my eyes are not seeing that very well. But that looks, look at that. Let's see if you can see that. Just adding that little bit of gold on there. Just to enhance it. So you're just already using the artwork that's there. And all you're doing is just enhancing it. Just having some fun. And I'm going to do a little bit around here too because I think this will really stand out on this darker color right around here. And that nice little tip actually helps. Having that little pointy tip helps it go on better. And I'm just putting a few dots on there. And it's still drying. It takes a little bit to dry, but boy, it really, really makes an impact. And so I just enhance it with a few, a few of those dots on there. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. And I feel like I need a border on here. Because of this darker area down here, I just feel like I'm going to have to put a border on there. So let's see if I can find... My marker here. I am going to put and all I'm doing is putting little dots around it. And I'm noticing that when I put the color on here, when I put the dots of um marker on here it's spreading a little bit and I'm thinking because it's a napkin and it's absorbent so that might be why it's kind of like spreading out just a little bit so you, you don't really need to put much on there it's just kind of spreading out itself okay and I'm not trying not to touch that little bottom area there but I feel like I need to do these handles so I'm going to go ahead and add some sparkle to my handles. And look, I've got the blue. This is the Blue Lagoon. And if you hear noise underneath my table, it's my dog. He's just, he's just underneath there just having fun. I'm not being precise on here. I'm just kind of dotting it up a little bit. You are Mr. Itchy under there, huh? My dog is just... I didn't have the exact color for this. That's okay. Just around the handles there. And I think I'm going to use this one. I like this one. This one is the the white blizzard. I'll just put a little bit on here. Because it won't really change the color much, but it'll just make it shiny. Look how cute. And you could do so much with this. I mean, if you wanted, you can go in and like draw stuff in here and um, with either your markers or if you have a gel pen you can kind of go in there and put more details but I think I'm going to put a gem right there just to kind of even stuff out a little bit yep put a gem right in the center here just 
You can add as much as you want to this. And these already have like a strip of stickers on there, so. Right in the center of that flower. And so this is what I have so far on there. I don't know if you can see that. And see how that border really helps? Just having that little bit of a border around there. But I feel like I need to take some of this color, this shimmery stuff, and just go right around the edge there. Super easy card, just kind of taking it, taking my time doing this. I don't want to cover up my border too much. I'm going to really enjoy using these for like uh, the holidays, Christmas stuff and adding sparkles to it. So I'm just holding my card right here because I don't want to uh, mess with my color there. So everything is trying to dry on here. So I don't want to mess with that. And this right here, this part that I did before, is already dry. It's just a tiny bit wet. So it just, it just depends on how much you use on your card. Okay. And look how pretty that is. I think I'm going to have to do some gift tags with this. Because that is just super super pretty and what you could do is just another idea if you really want to get detail oriented you can go around these little flowers here highlight them with some black uh, some kind of black um, gel pen you, can, you just to make it stand out even more so there's just so much you can do with this so just letting you see and so that's all I'm gonna put on here I think I've got enough um, I'm just really loving these napkin cards. I mean, this comes with 30 in a pack, but each sheet, I'm thinking you can get, you can get, might not be the same size because I had to cut into them, but you could get four cards out of one napkin. So imagine that's a ton of cards that you can get, um, that you can make for hardly anything. So I hope that this inspired you. I'm going to sit here and make a couple more out of those napkins. And um, let me know if you want to see a gift tag. Maybe I'll do a gift tag using my, because um, I like to use the cardboard or the, uh, the cereal boxes. Maybe I'll do something with some kind of packaging so we can use some of those up. So let me know how you like this. Uh, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and join our crafty family. I would love to have you on this journey with me. And once again, I hope you were inspired and I'll see you real soon. Bye.